That's pretty much the reason we're making elephant dog treats today. Hello beautiful people, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be making some healthy homemade dog treats for my babies. The recipe I'm using is from a blogger. The blog is called Must Love Home. This blogger is a blogger who shares easy and delicious family recipes, including recipes for your dogs. So we are trying one out today. It is her apple peanut butter dog treats. She said in her blog that these dog treats are dog tested and mom approved. So with that said, I would also like to see if these dog treats are not only dog tested, but also dog approved. So today's judging panel of dogs will be my three dogs. The first judge, Reese, she's the oldest dog in the house. She literally will do anything for a treat. She thinks everything that she does is deserving of a treat. Oh yeah. So I'm really curious to see if she will like and or prefer this treat over one of the prepackaged treats we typically get. Reese has had a cameo on this channel, I think in my eggnog video. <laughs> but she's never been the star of the video, at least yet, anyway. The next judge on the panel is Tank. He is my dog, he's five years old, he's a great Dane. Um, he has been featured on this channel a couple times. You may have seen him before. <laughs> and last but not least, the last dog judge on the panel is our newest member. We have Jedi. He is about to be one next month. He is also a Great Dane. Yeah, he's never been on this channel before. Yeah, this is his first appearance. His big reveal kind of thing. I'm curious to see how they all react to these treats. My final call is Tank and Jedi will like the treats and Reese won't. But the only way to find out is for us to make them and try them out. So I have already started the process of making these treats just because I decided to take the route of creating my own oat flour. So for this recipe, you will need four cups of oat flour or your own oats that you will then food process therefore creating your own oat flour. In Must Love Home's blog, she says that two cups of oats will be the equivalent to one cup of oat flour. But when I was doing my own measurements, I did not find that to be true. I found that two cups of oats yield about a cup and a half of oat flour. I kind of then just started shoveling oats into my food processor, measuring the oat flour I got after that once it was done in the food processor, and then just measuring out to get four cups. Just a side note as well, I did make some extra oat flour because you're gonna need to have flour on the flat surface when you roll out the dough for these treats. And also if the dough is sticky, she said to add a little bit more oat flour to get rid of that stickiness. So just for reference, if you do decide to do the oats in the food processor method, I started out with like a full, like this was full. This was a whole brand new container of oats. I'd say I have a little less than half left. And I think this process, all right, there are a little bit of bigger shards of oats than maybe I would have liked in there, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be fine. Two third cups of unsweetened applesauce, one half cup of natural peanut butter. For the peanut butter, make sure that the ingredient of xylitol, I think I'm saying it right, if not, please correct me. Make sure your peanut butter does not have this ingredient in it. It is a sweetener that can be poisonous to dogs. And then you will also need two eggs. As far as other supplies you'll need, you'll need mixing bowls, a food processor, a rolling pin, a flat surface, baking sheet, parchment paper, and an oven that is preheated to 350, and a cookie cutter of your choice. We're gonna be using this little, <laughs> this little elephant cookie cutter. No particular reason, I was just looking through the cookie cutters that we had, which I was not aware that we had as many as we do. And I found this little elephant and I thought he was cute and that's pretty much the reason we're making elephant dog treats today. I've already food processed all my oats, measured it out to four cups of oats, and I also measured out my half cup of peanut butter. We still have to add the applesauce and the eggs into the bowl, so that is what we're going to do now. So this is unsweetened applesauce. 
and we need two thirds of it. One third, two thirds. It doesn't taste that far off from regular applesauce. I'm kind of confused. I was expecting there to be like a significant difference and there really isn't. Hmm. Now that we got the applesauce added in, I'm gonna add in the two eggs as well. One egg. That was really easy. Kind of impressed with that crack, honestly. I did break the yolk though, so two eggs. I somehow did not get any shell into this bowl. That was pretty sick, pretty amazing. And now we're gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna mix it with a spoon. I'm not afraid to use my hands either, but I'd rather start the mixing process with the spoon and see how that goes. Mmm. I hope there's not too much oat flour in here. It smells really good. It just smells like peanut butter oatmeal, I guess. <laughs> These are dog treats. I'm like, this smells really good. Maybe I'll try one. I mean, why not, It's not like I can't. I think I'm gonna start using my hands. Oh yeah. It is a little sticky, but all the oat flour is not incorporated yet. Who needs tools when you have your hands? Just kidding. <laughs> I feel like her picture looked a little darker than mine does right now, but oh well. Maybe it was just the lighting. <laughs> I think I did a good amount of oat flour. It's really not sticking to my hands that much. It is a little bit, but it's not like severely sticky. I've definitely made recipes where it was like unbearably sticky and I couldn't even function. <laughs> okay, she like made it into like a, a cube or something before she rolled it out. So maybe I should try to sculpt this. Just like compacted it. <laughs> I think that's good. This is what it's looking like. It still very much so smells like peanut butter oatmeal. I'm gonna prepare the flat surface now. will be cut off for this part, but now it is time to roll out the dough. Got our dough. So on her blog, it says to roll out the dough till it is about one fourth inch thick. Um, I'm not really 100% sure how thin that is, but I'll, you know, try my best. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going off the freaking cutting board. Maybe I'll just do partially, like parts of it at a time. Hold on. It's kind of breaking apart. Um, that's not good. I think we can get an elephant cut here. I did this wrong. <laughs> I'm like, why is this stabbing my hand? Because this is the part that's supposed to cut. Yeah, that's better. All right, here's our first little elephant. Oh! Oh. He's trunkless. No. Can I like put it back? I think that worked. I did it, I fixed it. Honestly, why is it working better for me to just palm? It's working better for me to just palm this dough. This is kind of fun, not gonna lie. Now she said this recipe yields about 12 treats, but her cookie cutters looked a little bigger than mine. Okay, the only complaint I have so far is this dough is really freaking crumbly. I'm not sure if I just mismeasured something. Maybe there's just too much flour in it, but it's really crumbly. Now looking at all these, <laughs> um, they're all different shapes and sizes over here. Ah. We're gonna keep trying. Not gonna lie, part of me is starting to feel like I did something wrong because this is literally, it's literally falling apart and not, I guess like molding together. It's literally just crumbling. Granted, maybe I did put a little too much oat flour in there. Or maybe it's just the fact that I didn't have like actual oat flour and I tried to make my own. So yeah, that's probably my error, not gonna lie. Either way though, 
I am getting some nice treats. Only one of them doesn't have a trunk, but whatever. So I officially have made 12 and that's how many the recipe is supposed to yield. But I also have all of that and some of that still left. All right, here are all my elephants. I do have like a decent bit of this left, but it's literally just like crumbling. It won't like stay together. But I'm going to throw these into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And yeah, I'll see you once that is done. All the dogs have made their way down. It's like they subconsciously know that this is for them. You know? Do you know these treats are for you? You know? Oh, making new treats? You smell it in the oven? You, yeah, you know this is yours? They're in there for you. You smell them? Oh, you do. Are you excited? <gasps> you excited? <laughs> Here are the finished treats. I'm gonna let them cool down. And then we're gonna do our taste test. You ready to do a taste test? Taste test? Taste test? <laughs> oh, good, okay, we're ready to taste test. Oh. The good news is they're not crumbling like when I pick them up. Like they're, they're intact, they're cooked. As far as cooking them, they held up. So I broke one of the cracked treats in half and I figured I would try one, because why not? So here goes. <laughs> very dry very bland there is a peanut butter aftertaste <laughs> let me make sure my dogs have water <laughs> so first up in the taste test is Reese. I have her outside without the other two big boys so they don't bother her while she tries to eat it Mm -hmm. She's gonna eat the other half of the treat that I ate. <laughs> Let's see if Reese likes it. Okay, you wanna try? Okay, this is for you. Here you go. Let me know what you think. So far, so good. She's eating it. You like it? Oh, <gasps> She's going back for more. Oh, wow. I didn't think you would like it. <gasps> All right. Oh. Reese approved. Reese approved treats. You approved. Oh, first judge likes it. You like that? Oh, you are such a baby. I'm coming. Stop, I'm coming. So I have Tank and Jedi's treats. I know that I can't hold and film. Reese, you had yours. All right, can we sit, boys? All right, good boys. Good boy, can we touch? Touch, good boy. There you go. Come here, Tank. There you go. How we feeling? Did you like that? How'd you like it? <gasps> you like those? Oh, did you like those? Jedi liked it so much, he tried to go eat Tank's. And Tank liked it so much, he ate it all. Jedi! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, mister? I think it is safe to say that this recipe is not only mom approved, but dog approved as well. <laughs> I'm beginning to realize that saying the dogs like the treats is an understatement. They are obsessed with these treats and they are acting extremely out of pocket now. <laughs> But even so, I still very much so recommend this recipe. If you are looking to know what's going into your dog's food and treats, I think this is a good recipe to start out with. It was a little messy, but cleanup was easy and it was ultimately fun to do. And Tank's thirsty now because they were a little dry. But I guess, I mean, they liked them, so it don't matter. <laughs> if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more like it. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> I have to move outside because they need to clearly go play. So yeah. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely really appreciate it. And yeah, I am super, super, super grateful for you. I will see you in the next one. Bye.